Take a look at this cute uh, little boy. That was me, full of energy, always a smile on my face. One of my favorite things to do so was picking strawberries in my parents' backyard. So one day I'm out eating and, well, picking and eating strawberries, and I made a huge mess. No, seriously, I made a total mess of myself. I had strawberry juice dripping off my face, covering my hands, my arms, my legs, and the fine gray dirt of the backyard was sticking to me like glue. And of course, my mom sees me and hollers, Michael, look at yourself. Get inside and clean up. So I climbed into the bathtub, lost my balance, grabbing for hold. I accidentally moved the valve, controlling the water flow and the temperature. There was no delay. The boiling water started pouring down on me instantly. Paralyzed by the pain, I could only scream at the top of my lungs. I woke up in isolation care, having suffered third degree burns. I was in pain, could barely move, in a frightening environment. But worst of all, I was all by myself, and nobody came to visit for 10 long days, not even my parents. I was just four years old, and I felt abandoned. I left the hospital a changed child. The happy, energetic four-year-old had turned into a very difficult-to-manage boy with disabling fears who isolated himself for the better part of a decade. And then I fell in love, and everything changed. I remember sitting on the kitchen floor at home, waiting for dinner when she first appeared. I was 12. My heart started racing, and my preteen brain couldn't keep up with all the emotions rising to the surface. Yes, she was an amazingly beautiful girl. And she was a little puppy. Cora became my partner in meeting the world with fresh eyes. She took me everywhere that I hadn't had the courage to go. On walks, she ran up to strangers, pulling me along behind her. And suddenly, I was talking with people again. This little girl pulled me out of my darkness and isolation, and I started to enjoy life again. Dogs have that power. Dogs have that amazing ability to make us feel seen, heard, and connected. Dogs and humans have been together for thousands of years, and we've benefited in many ways. Just think about the safety, protection, the companionship that dogs have provided throughout the millennia. Over the last 150 years, an explicit benefit of the human-canine bond has emerged. It started when Florence Nightingale, the founder of modern nursing, commented in 1860 that a small pet is often an excellent companion for the sick. Yet it took another 70 years until Smokey, a tiny four-pound Yorkshire Terrier improved the physical and mental well-being of patients in a military hospital. And so, my childhood dog, Cora, became part of a long lineage of dogs in canine-assisted therapy. Today, there are more than 50,000 therapy dogs, certified therapy dogs, in the US. And the impact that therapy dogs have on our physical and mental well-being, as well as recovery from injury and illness, is profound, as you can see here by research conducted at UCLA. Now, I don't know about you, but this makes perfect sense to me. My dog was instrumental for me to overcome loneliness and isolation, and she also helped me to reduce my stress and anxiety. But there's more. Research published in the National Library of Medicine measured a 57% decrease among several negative stressors like tension and anxiety, anger and hostility, fatigue and inertia, even depression and dejection when patients had access to therapy dogs. And did you know reducing stress in patients leads to faster recovery and better health outcomes? Conversely, 
slower recovery rates, increase the risk of infections and complications, and lengthens hospital stays. Here's an important point, a point of distinction. Therapy dogs are certified to be safe around patients. But all dogs have the innate ability to improve our physical and mental well-being. After all, Smokey, the four-pound Yorkshire Terrier, he was not a certified therapy dog, neither was my childhood dog. And you can probably think of many other examples. Having been a dog lover my entire life, it was just a matter of time until I started taking pictures of dogs. Initially for friends and family, eventually for private clients and businesses. What I did not anticipate is that photos of dogs would have many of the same effects on people that real dogs have. But the reactions I observed and the feedback that I received was consistent. Positive images of dogs make us feel something. They trigger something in us. And that's true whether it's a real dog, a dog on a screen, or in a photograph. Positive images of dogs make us feel better and reduce our stress. They also help us to connect with other people. So why is that happening? Every time we see a dog, our subconsciousness runs a mental shortcut that signals something along the lines of friend, trust, loyalty. The things that we have learned to associate with dogs during our joint evolutionary journey for more than 12,000 years. Positive images of dogs help us to feel better and reduce our stress. In addition, our brain also increases the release of the social bonding hormone oxytocin, which then further amplifies this positive association. The responses we have to seeing photos of dogs are very similar to the responses we have to seeing a real dog. And it is these involuntary responses that make us feel better, put an uplifting smile on our face, and reduce stress. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how can we use that information to help patients? Let's find out. In 2019, we had 36.2 million patients in U.S. hospitals. Now compare that to the just over 50,000 therapy dogs, and it becomes apparent that there is a substantial gap that prevents hospitals from providing all patients with the support of therapy dogs. And with that, with the opportunity to recover more quickly, have fewer complications, and reduce the duration of their discomfort. What further burdens the supply and demand issue is that therapy dogs are also used in colleges, in after-school programs, long-term care facilities, assisted living homes, just to mention a few. So needless to say, we have a short supply of certified therapy dogs. Conversely, we have an infinite supply of dog photos. References to dogs and photos are used in psychotherapy to put patients at ease and to enable more effective care conversations. Based on what I've seen and based on what I know about the science of how dogs and photos of dogs benefit us, I believe that photos of dogs can make a substantial difference, not only in ICUs and hospital rooms, but in any spaces where people experience stress. Spaces where our well-being is of utmost importance. We're all patients when we go to the dentist, the family doctor, or the hospital. The next time you want to boost your well-being, look at photos of dogs. After five minutes, your sense of well-being will rise by 16.5% according to research conducted at the University of Maryland. For those of you involved in patient care, consider the following. Do you want to reduce the stress for your patients? Do you want to reduce your patients' physical and mental recovery times? Do you want to more easily connect with your patients? 
If you answered yes just to one of these questions, get photos of dogs and display them prominently. Now, don't get me wrong. There is nothing that can replace the real thing, a dog. But photos of dogs have the potential to expand the impact of therapy dogs, and they can go places where real dogs cannot. Exposing more patients and caregivers to photos of dogs can reduce stress, improve well-being, elevate mood. Just look at these ears. <laughs> and lower anxiety and enable more effective care conversations. So let me leave you with two quotes. The first by the American writer Ben Williams. There's no psychiatrist in the world like a puppy licking your face. <laughs> and the Dutch post-impressionist painter Vincent van Gogh once said, art is to console those who are broken by life. Now, I don't know if these two have ever been quoted together. I doubt it. But why don't we combine their insights and imagine just for a moment how artistically created dog photography can put uplifting smiles on patients' and caregivers' faces at times of uncertainty and stress. Thank you very much. <laughs>